welcome back. The production level is going through the roof. I've gone too early. Story of my life. I've gone oh, way too early. You've gone, gone perfect. I've gone way too early. Yeah, there it is. It's his there first is. time working off the video. <laughs> it's Rock- who we're fucking here, boys. <laughs> Rocky too I went real <laughs> live. Hey, you don't fucking talk. We'll post that clip of you just ruining the whole intro <laughs> to start with. I'd ruin everything I do anyway. So the it's person just who ruined it's the my great favorite Georgie. George thing is him just as soon as the intro starts, like, so boys, like, who you been fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, welcome. I asked the hard eating questions, man. What can I say? Georgie asks the hard eating questions. JA sets up all the technology. He's doing fucking God's work. Amen to that. Welcome back, boys. Another week, week two. I just want everyone to understand that you, when you say he sets up all the technology, I have no fucking experience or clue in oh, we see that. any part of what I'm doing. We, we see this. Everything I'm doing is winging it and hoping it hey. works. Hey, fake the, it till you make it, bro. The, the best dude. The amount of trial and error that goes on in this exact room is something fucking wild. But, uh, fake it till you make it. It's very enjoyable. Um, the TikTok's been going really well. Everyone seems to really be enjoying it. Absolutely. Them. Get on the socials. The Vault Studio podcast. Uh, the Vault Studio Australia is our TikTok name, believe. Yes. Growing traction. Traction, traction, traction. Shout out to our sponsors, the Sporting Globe. Love having you on board. Absolutely shout out, out to them. And shout out to, um, I'm not sure if Paul Egan saw, we did our first giveaway on the weekend for the Patreon. So six bucks Australian per month. Yep. Every Sunday night we do a $25 voucher <coughs> for the Sporting Globe anywhere in Australia. It doesn't have to be Transit Park. Prefer it if you go there. Yep. But it's an online, it gets emailed out to you and you can take that to any Sporting Globe in the country. Um, so absolute bargain. Paul Egan, who was one of the listeners that sent one of the f- hilarious... Uh, stuff for the readout last week that about, was good one. about Brock it, slash Allen over is there. He, is he clubhouse leader for real year? Oh, has to be. Has to be. Although, nah, Jerry has been my, pretty my, good. My man, Jerry. Jerry has been good. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a, a tight race. race. Yeah, it definitely is a two-horse race at this point. So, yeah, get, get on the Patreon, sign up. Said it all goes to towards and, and, and send, getting it send better. More, send more funny shit like that in. Yeah, 100%. Shit, 100%. Uh, where's Skinny? Skinny, start sending funny shit in. Come on, bro. Nah, Skinny, Skinny's gone off because we picked on the Steelers too much, I reckon. To brother 2-0. They're killing it. He should be up and but about. you don't have them win another game for the rest of the year, then. <laughs> they probably won't, though. That's the thing. Especially when Wilson comes back. The worst thing... Oh, let's get stuck into it. Do you just... I, in my personal opinion, fuck the Steelers. Whoa. But I'm riding with Justin Fields. I know they can't do this to every team and have their defense fucking win for the rest of the year. I think that's what they're going to try and do, though. Yeah, but you're going to have to try and do this with Wilson. I'd rather try and do it with a, a somewhat mobile quarterback who won't be trying to do subway ads mid fucking game. I think they have to see what Wilson does because if Wilson makes them right now Fields is I think he's the better prospect. He's certainly the better prospect at this point of yep. his career. He's better well, he's much younger, obviously. Better athlete. Um what my concerns are is they've scored one touchdown in two games. Yes. So Yeah that's a fair concern. They've had, they've had a lot of crappy drives. Um their defense has kept them alive. Their defense is fucking killing them. In particular, TJ Watt, who's Defensive Player of the Year not as even of TJ, right now. Not even TJ. Their whole D-line are just fucking yeah. dogs. Yep. yep. The They've pressure they really get on players. quarterbacks, it's outstanding. They get a lot of coverage sacks as well. Yep. Like the yeah, D-line yeah, yeah, does yeah, get that's through. A good call. That's a good but call. they do have a good fucking D, couple DBs in there that actually do each other yeah, they're a good. little bit. They're, 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 a really good, they're a really good defense is what they thought they would be. I don't think you're going to win. If you're scoring a touchdown every second week, I don't think you're going to win enough games. I certainly don't think you're going to win a Super Bowl. I certainly don't think you're going to be a contender come playoff time. I think you'll be a six or seven seed at best and you'll get knocked out in the first round. At best. Which I don't mind teams. I don't think every team should be like... I don't think the goal for every team should be winning a Super Bowl. I think the goal should be, are we in contention? It's too hard to win them. It's just, it's too challenging. You never know what's going to happen to you. An injury comes at the bad time, all that sort of stuff. The goal should be setting up to be a contender. Like what the Bills are doing right now, they've set themselves up to be a contender come the end of the year. Sure. Will they win a Super Bowl? I don't know. But they're they're in they're in the race. They're one of the teams that can. I don't think Pittsburgh. Yeah, they're definitely in the mix. I don't think they are with Fields. I don't know if they are with Russell Wilson. I don't think they will be, don't get me wrong, but I I don't know because I haven't seen it. Maybe he can get more production, be more efficient. They run the ball better. Their their O line's better this year. I think maybe he can you've got I think you have to is that a reach from you? I think it's a reach. You have to see what he can do. See, I think they're in a perfect opportunity where they can put Wilson in. They've seen Fields through two. So you can see, see him through three or four. Put Wilson in, see how he goes. And if he doesn't work out, you can always go back to Fields. But mm. once you once you take Wilson out, you have to fucking stick with I think I think if you if you pull Fields, you can't put him back in. No, no, I think because remember, he's only starting because of the injury. Yeah. Wilson, Wilson was named as a starter. Yeah, right. So he, he didn't start because of the injury. So you can put him in and be like, 
Well, unless he like unless he's in for another three weeks and Fields wins another three games, then you you that's it. You're done. You yeah. don't go back to him. But as of right now, if Wilson's available next week, I'm seeing what you've got in Wilson before it's I make a decision on Fields. And then if he doesn't play well, then you go look. Even though you're healthy now, Fields is just a better option for us. We can't roll with him. It, it is a very hard thing to drop a quarterback after winning two games. That's what I'm. That's what like, I'm saying. That's it, exactly that, what I'm it's saying. It's hard to drop. drop. Like. Really I, I wouldn't be doing. I that. would agree. Normally, with in a, in a lot of cases, it's hard for them. But with the offensive production that he's produced, I yeah. But you don't want to fuck a lot, the a lot of peas in there. You don't want to uh, fuck the locker room over as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that chopping and changing is not good. It's yeah, not good if, for, if, if, it, if it was Michael, I'd be cutting Wilson right now and being like, "See you later. Thanks for everything." You know, we don't even want you as a backup. Fuck, you don't even need cutting. You're paying one point one for the year. No, nah, cut him so you just like set set, set the tone. Set the tone. Like we don't <laughs> like you. I know we know your teammates don't like that's, you. That's that's a real. You got to fire someone on the first day. Sort of yeah. Yeah, 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 like you parked in the wrong spot. Even when they quit, you're still going to say you, you fired them. Fire him. Even because even though you were the one that tried to lift them up onto the table and they were so fat and couldn't get up there because you were, and you were trying to lift them, you still fire them after they quit. It's just not the place for you. It's okay, just, you're fired. We don't want you. It's here. just the management style issue, you know. Um, George is looking. I don't so know what you guys are right now. That's fine. There'll be people that know that. P- speaking of people who are going to be mighty confused and um, oh. pretty upset for a few days, let's talk to her. This was heartbreaking. I I was upset. I said Sunday on the on the red cup betting that I, I found it quite emotional. Yeah. When, when yeah. I saw his hands go go again like that, I thought it was very emotional. The, I'm like, his teammates were the same. The other the Bills players were the same. Yeah. Uh, Hamlin was the same. Like it was for me yeah. really hard. For me, it was seeing fucking Michael McDonald McDonald kick him, kiss him on the head. McDaniel's yeah. McDaniel's, yeah as he went he off, kiss yeah. him on the head. That was real sort of. Mm. And even hearing Saban talk about. Meeting him, meeting the whole family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's a very caring, respectful, loving person, mm-hmm. and the whole family is. So it, you don't. Yeah, Tua's a good dude. I like Tua. Like, we I actually just like him as a man. The yeah. whole podcast we do NFL with no injuries. We turn yeah. injuries off. Yeah, like we don't want any of that. But it is sad to see. But what do you think? Is he, is he done? He can't, well, he, uh, let me play devil's advocate for one sec, if I can, because yeah. it's kind of well known I'm the villain of this podcast. You are correct. What the fuck's he doing? Yeah, I don't know why he with his head. The like fuck that. is he doing? Especially into Demar, Demar Hamlin, who we know is unkillable. No, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's got the softest chest in the game. He's like John Snow. He, he got killed and then came back to life. The you, ain't fucking, you, you, like, ain't, you ain't fucking with the king just play, it, just play it out with me again. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm the villain. It's fine. Like, it's sad. Tours can cast. He's a good dude. I like him as a man. He seems like a really well-respected guy. His teammates love him. Everyone loves him. But, like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, you run. You've got the first down. I, I, don't, yeah. th- I don't think he knew. Because oh, he starts. What do you mean he doesn't know? I don't know. I don't think he knew he had the first down. Because he starts actually, he's leaning forward at the first down marker. Dude, he got hit. He got hit. He's fi- the, six yards in, in, ahead of the first it down wasn't marker. Six yards. It was like three yards over. It doesn't matter. It's, he's it's, already. He's it's already, week two. He's already going Slide. forward. It's week two. Slide. You've got the first down. Live to fight you, another day. What concussed. the fuck are you doing? You've been concussed six times in five years. You slide every time. You never take a hit ever. Uh, eighteen Absolutely. months ago, eighteen months ago, he considered retirement because of his concussions. Yeah. Slide, um, and unfortunately, we've all been waiting for this. We, we always say he's he's one hit away. It's literally the fucking available. sword of Damocles hanging over his fucking head. To answer your question, of will he play again? He's already come out and said that that he will come back. I mean, that's all well and good, but like he's got to be cleared to play. The issue is going to be now. Is a doctor willing to sign off on it? If a doctor signs off it, is the team willing to sign off on it? Um, if a doctor doesn't sign off on it, there's no way the NFL will let him play. Of course not. And like, no, should they? The no, there's no way they're going to take that risk. What's the vetting process with in terms of like the? Is it the team doctor that, that gives them the all clear? No. Or is it, is it, is it like a, an, an outside person? I was going to say because there's a lot of like vested interest there. Obviously, yeah, it'd have to be an outside person. Yeah. I, I don't or know like how an, it's all like an NFL work. appointed person. Sure, he will need medical clearance. I also think. Um, can I just say one thing to the to the coverage? The whatever. What was it on? Was it on NBC? Nah, uh, Amazon Prime. The fucking way they went instantly to a montage mm. of every time he'd been he'd been knocked out before. You tell me you've got a to a concussion montage ready to go in case he gets concussed. Yeah, that's fucking that's brutal, isn't it? Oh my fucking god. Alright, roll, roll the montage, roll the montage. The con- finally if if I'm one of the commentators, I'm like, turn this off. Like why are you playing this? The yeah. kid's just been knocked out. His future's just been taken away from him playing. Um, his teammates he's on are the distraught. field literally seeing stars the and they're supporters. rolling the montage he's, he's on there throwing up crip fucking signs and we're really going to fucking play his montage like it, it wasn't outrageous just, it wasn't just that like I pretty, pretty gross I didn't see it live I saw the group that fucking blow up and instantly put the fucking game on and went back maybe 40 seconds hit the, hit the 10 a couple times to go back and saw a replay of it I'm like 
how the fuck are they showing a replay when all the group chat said was Tua just fucking died? Yeah. Like, how are they showing a replay of this? They don't show a replay when a non-contact fucking knee injury happens, mm. but they show a replay when someone actually has a serious fucking issue like that. It's pretty classless. Absolutely, pretty it's classless. classless. Yeah, probably, probably could have, probably could have rethought. Could, that. could have done without the fucking the, Jeff the Bezos. Line. Fuck him. Yeah, I, I think I would just to get some of his money. Oh, absolutely. You'd be the, you'd be the second richest <laughs> person in the world. Fucking if you cowboy. In so that, baby. I guess, I guess now we'll just wait and see. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to wait and see what happens. And also, in the meantime, are the Dolphins like fuck now? They're done. Season's over. Yeah, Skyler Thompson is not good, which again gives me to bring me to a new point. Bring in Tannehill. What? Yeah, I think Tannehill will come in. They can't. Apparently, they can't My sign Brady. Reunion in Miami. I like it. They can't sign Brady because he's he an has, owner of the Raiders yes, already. He has yep. ownership in the Raiders now, so he can't sign with them. Yep. Poor kid. About his also, he's commentating on on Fox with with a high pitched voice. <laughs> Philip, <laughs> Philip Rivers was doing that and then came back. He's oh, getting true. paid. Okay. He's getting paid thirty million to say ten words. And oh. kiss his son. <laughs> he's been atrocious. He's bad. He was I worse said it week one. one. Come he's on. It's his second day on the job. You weren't, fu- you weren't no, good second he's day. He's bad. It, hang on. Mm, you weren't good at your job after two days. I didn't have as squeaky a voice as him. Tony True. Romo got praised after his second game. Greg Olsen has been dropped from the number one team for Tom Brady. Yeah. Greg Olsen's one of the best, be the best fucking yes. colour guys in the game. And well, if you, you, mean, you ask what about what he was like of? at Miami, he he's was, actually white. He is white. And what back do you mean Miami, he's, he's easily the best. Yeah, so he got, he got dropped for Tom Brady to the second team. For t- I, I'd be I'd be living yeah, if I was him. Fair. I believe he's still getting paid. Greg yeah, yeah, he's still getting paid. Deal, but it's not about. I don't, I don't think it's about the money for him. He just wants to do it. No, um, we talk. Brock, don't yeah, get yeah. upset. No, okay, I'm, I'm okay. Hey, hey for, I said it before. I ain't worried. I said it off air. All three of our teams had bad losses this week, so it's all good. I, I ain't we're really all, worried. We're all salty. Just... We're all salty together. Not all of us lost to the Oakland Raiders. And no, Minshew, hang on. Gardner Minshew has the Ravens number. If you look he at the stats, the cult he year, fucking so. beats the yeah, Ravens. Yeah, we said that before. Every fucking time. My issue with the Ravens is. How the fuck do you not put a team away with seven minutes to go? You're yeah. up by ten. Up by ten, yeah. And like, it's f- it's field goal, touchdown, field goal to lose the game. Like, what the fuck, man? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Defense is James, terrible. Justin Tucker's washed. Oh. I'm sorry, he's fucking washed. Get he misses two. Out. How many kicks did he miss? One, two. Did he miss two in the end? Yeah. Mm. He's also one of seventeen on his last seventeen kicks over fifty yards. No, he's one one from seven. Hundred mm, percent. Sure. Because he, he was one from seven last year. All right, one from seven then. Yeah. Atrocious. You know what he's before if he that? Kicks, if he kicks a field goal. Do you know what he was before that? Oh, like he didn't miss. No, he was, I think it was 38. Oh, no, he was 36 from 38 above 50 for 10 years straight. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Justin Tucker will go down as the best kicker yeah. ever. I'm not saying he's not, but he is one of the big reasons you didn't put them away. Because if yeah. you, like you look at all the other games where teams built a big lead, um, the Cowboys in week one is a good example. They yeah. weren't scoring touchdowns, but Aubrey just kept knocking field goals through. Yeah, I, I, so they I just kept turning the score over so you could never catch them. If, if they kick a field goal, they quickly go back and kick a field goal back at them. Like, yep. if you start missing those kicks, and he might have only missed one in fairness. I'm, I might be remembering it wrong. It's, it might, might be my bad. But he missed a crucial one, which could have, in a game where you lose by three and you miss a field goal, like, I'm no mathematician. But three and three, you know, equals tied. But if you kick that, if you kick that, you actually go up more than two. You're right. You're not a mathematician. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Um, so I don't. I don't know. To answer the question that the he, he other missed, Ravens, he, he missed one. Yes, missed one. My bad. So to answer the question, the Ravens in trouble. I don't think they're in trouble. They get uh, Dal- they get Dallas in Dallas this week. I think they'll. To- I think they'll pay out. They'll pay I, out I did listen to a podcast today saying they had a hard run for the next three games. Yeah, and I think it's Dallas, Cincy, and someone else. And I'm like. Dallas, tough game. Absolutely. But the way Dallas are playing at the moment. I don't think Dallas, 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 at, Dallas at home are a good team. Well, not, no, not no. against the Saints. So they have or, or, I'm talking ordinarily. Yes. <laughs> so the Saints are a fucking... They not put, against the Saints or the seven seed Green Bay Packers. They play the Dallas. Games they play, they play <laughs> Dallas away. They play Bills at home. Tough game. Bengals away. And then they play the fucking Commanders at home. Yeah, I think you guys will be a car. I think if you can win two of those guys. And listen, the division's not running away. The, the Browns are only one and one, and the Browns don't look good. I'm like I'm still not sold on the Browns. Um and the Steelers, again, we just said, like they've scored one touchdown in two weeks. I'm yeah. not who who's the Steelers beaten? Who'd they beat week one? I can't even remember. Uh they fuck, I just have it. I can't remember who they beat. They this did, week. They didn't score a touchdown. That's the word I'm losing. Oh, they beat Atlanta week one. Yeah. They did beat Atlanta, yeah. And I can't remember who they beat this week. That's how my brain's uh, fried. Steelers beat Denver. Yeah, it, it, was, it was the Russ Wilson return game. He, he yeah, got the game ball, yeah, right. even though he, he didn't play. He got the game ball. He got the petty game ball. Mike Tomlin, I yeah. can't and this stand is where, him. Th- this is where Wilson's clearly a fuckwit. Because if that's me, right, if I'm in Wilson's shoes that. and Tomlin comes out giving the game ball, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Yeah. Like, 
If we're playing Seattle, maybe. But like we're playing with yeah, but even then, Denver, man. He didn't like, play. I didn't play. Give well, it to someone who played. Denver yeah. are paying him like thirty nine million this year. Yeah, as they fucking should. And he took a contract for nothing despite. They, they took a minimum just so they it's had ridiculous. to pay the most to him. It's okay. ridiculous. But I said I'm not going to get worried about the Ravens yet. And the st- there is a stat that Owen to only like twenty seven percent of teams make playoffs. It does happen a lot. Like since he always start zero and two, and that also stat might be from when it was um, seventeen six, games six, not eighteen yeah, games. Yeah, and six teams not seven as well. Yeah, yeah. There's now an extra wild card. So I, I'm, I said I'm not worried yet. I'm not worried yet. What I am worried about, and this is the first time I've ever. You guys know that I've not been. I've never got on the bandwagon of. The I've Ma- been pretty vocal of, of Mahomes and the Chiefs get the rub of the green. It enough's enough. The, the, this season and how, this fucking how disgustingly obvious is it at the moment? That it's this, so bad. It's I, I'm, the people coming out and going, oh, that was PI. You don't call that PI on the last play of the game. You can't. No, you, but you okay, don't. here we go. You can't say you don't call that. If it's PI, it's PI. It's not PI. I don't but care whether. Okay, do you call hands in the face? Yeah. Okay, why didn't they call the play before that? Who hit hands in the face? In the play before Cincinnati had hands in the face. The play before that. It depends on the severity. Was it? I don't know what. I haven't seen it. It was. was also, it, it was. was it, a, it was bad. He was also an offensive hold as well. On that play. Yeah. I'd say I didn't think that was holding because his hands are inside of the D-line, didn't try and shed. He just kind of stood there and tried to push him away. But anyway, there's, there's always penalties you can call. Exactly. I don't know why. I, I, I don't think that was PI. The, the issue is that's PI. It doesn't get called every time. I, it didn't get called in the fucking last drive of the Eagles Atlanta game today. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. If that's Played through his back, went early. Eagles guy pulled the fucking. But if you down. watch it in full speed, he actually doesn't play through his back. He jumps he up, jumps up behind him. Yeah, he jumps. Now, there's straight contact. Up. It was a late flag. That's what there's makes it look bad. One hundred percent. There's there's contact with the jump, but that res- my thing with PI is, was that receiver going to catch the ball? No. Yeah. He was never catching it. I, w- I would Ever say that it was borderline catching. uncatchable. Yes, it was like unless that guy's going to jump uh, in a contested position, like I, the defender didn't have eyes. It, he didn't interfere with the receiver he because he had eyes for the to ball. To make a play on the ball. He jumped up as the receiver jumped back into him. They both collided with each other in the air, barely, and the defender had eyes if on the, the ball the entire time. How can it be pass interference if the receiver is the one initiating contact? They both did. They just both jumped into each other. It was it barely time, contact. Yeah, but the DB jumped straight up. It, I mean, it was it was atrocious. It was. Look, you're allowed to jump and make a play on the ball. I'm sorry. If I'm Cincinnati, I'm fucking losing my mind. And again, why... Do refs feel like they need to decide fucking games? Dude, it's not. No it's not, one's blinking it's, it's if purely, they don't call it. It's that. purely to favour the Chiefs. It has to be. What well, else the, could it be? Well, what week one, they got away with 15 penalties where the tackle was lining up in the wrong spot and going early. This happened last season for the Chiefs, too. I've seen guys like there's a guy called Kirk Benkart who used to play for the mm-hmm. Green Bay Packers, now has become like a big media guy due to playing Madden, and he's an ex NFL quarterback. Yep. He, oh, yeah, he I've seen literally him, yeah. came out and said, Enough's enough. Like they don't need your help. They're a good team. They don't need the rest helping. So you obvious. Week. It's so obvious. Um, Did you see that stat that I put up in the, in the group chat? That he's had eighteen interceptions brought back from penalties. This from, uh, from holding calls. From holding calls, which is the most in the NFL by almost double. That's some's luck. That's don't wild, get me wrong. Some of it's luck. That's Brady, a wild stat though. Brady had his luck too. Like I get guys. You, you, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But this is happening. Way too often now. It's the first two games this season. Uh, no, I the think Chiefs have been helped it's just, severely by the refs. I don't think it's they're getting too many penalties. They're just getting the penalties at the right fucking time, and it's just annoying. It the penalties are there. It's just annoying that it fucking it's beyond fucking annoying. I cannot well, stand this d- little that cunt. decided the game. Burrow played his fucking guts out in that game. Now I know he had a bad. But also the fumble. Did you hear the commentators after the fumble? Yeah. They 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 they. Uh, they What's the word? They um, went back for a Burrow fumble, went back for a touchdown, and they reviewed it and confirmed that it was a fumble. And the commentators were like, "Well, we never actually saw the video. They never showed us a, like they never showed us a close up. How can they confirm that it was a fumble? Normally, when there's a fumble, right, they show it 97 times yeah, in no slow mo. Yeah, they didn't show it at all. They just went, "Yeah, no, nah, it's confirmed. It's a touchdown." Yeah. Um, are you saying? Are you honestly saying now that there's something nefarious? Going I don't on? think there's something nefarious. I, I, I think I think Jers, like plain, I think, I think Jers said favoritism. this before. It's it's um, it's like winners' favoritism or, yeah. or winners winners' it's, luck. Like it's it's the it's you just see it more because it's fucking happening. Yes, we saw it with the fucking Pats as well. The Pats had the a fucking twenty. And this years. is why everyone fucking hated the Pats. 
No, I didn't hate the Pats. I hated the Pats fans in Australia. Still, no, I hate the Pats. No, I hate Pats fans. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I hate. I mean, I hate everybody. So By the way, life goes on. It. It's it's week two. I just felt bad for Cincy. I thought Burrow tried his fucking ass off. Jamar Chase was being a whiny fucking bitch the oh, whole game. Fuck. That guy trade him. Yeah, Jerry, yeah. Because now he's coming out and going. He's now becoming a problem for the team. Yes. Trade him and get a couple of first round picks for him. And, and now he's saying on. I'm not. I'm not negotiating. I'm not doing anything until. Yeah, the gonna play the end of the year. He he costs them that 15 yard penalty. They had yeah. a third and six where Burrow was. He was playing really well. Yeah. I think they could well, give him a better chance of converting it than third and twenty four. Because he wants to yell at a ref for a hip for a hip drop yeah, tackle, hip drop which tackle, yeah. wasn't a hip drop tackle. Yeah. It's the, the thing that that's that fucking rule that's going to be so hard. But to the defender call. never the defender never dropped to his feet. The hip drop tackle is when they wrap with their arms and drop their entire body weight. The defender still had like his feet on the ground. He was still up, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah. was just tackling, and then they stumbled on top he, of each you other. Said it, you said it. He's just a whiny bitch, man. He's just like I said. If you're gonna be like that because you haven't got your money, first of all, since he are t- notoriously tight asses, they just got indoor stadium for the first time. They're cheap as crap. Yes, they notoriously don't pay their high profile players. Everyone was shocked when Burrow got the money. So Chase, play out the year, shut up, and get a new contract in another team next year, or Bengals trade him. Like, you can't be hurting your team like that. That was stupid. To yell at... It wasn't even... It was screaming. The ref gave him three chances, yeah. which is rare. Yeah. Trust me, I've yelled at refs before. It's rare you get a third chance. I know. Three Seen chances, it. and then Burrow told him basically, shut up and dragged him away, and he went back that last time, and the ref was like, no, that's it now. That's I'm, it. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I gave you three chances. You know, heat of the game, I get it. The ref after the game said, I, I, I couldn't... The third time, I can't, let it, I can't let that happen. The fact that he pushed Burrow away... And then like yelled at Burrow, yeah. College teammate, good Burrow friend. Was furious. I, I wouldn't be surprised be if Burrow comes Burrow, out, yeah. if Burrow goes behind doors and goes, get the fucker off the team. Yeah. Because you don't fucking need oh, that. He ne- he, unfortunately, they need him because yeah. they've got not a lot of... Oh, look, look at T. Higgins back this week. But I think Burrow... I think what Burrow did put yeah. to bed a little bit. Wash it up. Wash it up as a fucking loss. L- you lose yeah. him. You're not going to get him next year. Well, you can tag him. You can, you can play the dangerous game. He, is he going to f- sign that tag and actually come play on it? Then well, he doesn't, he doesn't get to play. Then, but then you can trade him. You've got the Brandon Ayuk situation where trades can go. It's like, you, you don't, what you don't want to happen is... Like, Jamar Chase isn't leaving the Bengals for nothing. Oh, no, you have They're to get getting something, something for him. Yeah, absolutely. They're getting a first-round pick mm. at a minimum for yeah. him. So it'll happen. I, I, think, I think they'll re-sign. I think, I think they do. He just no, has to make he, I decision. think he re-signs. Yeah. He just needs to make a decision whether he wants to act. Apparently, he wants, like, 60 million. He wants, like... He what? wants to beat... Uh, yeah, that's what he, that's the rumors. Yeah, he wants to beat JJ, but he doesn't want to beat him by a dollar. He wants to fucking yeah. Fight. He wants to like reset the market at wide receiver, and the Bengals are like, "Well, no, you're not resetting the market. We'll pay you the same as Jefferson. You're that's the level you're at. You'll get you'll get a little bit more than CD Lamb, and a little and the same as Jefferson, or a little bit less, or a little bit more. The CD, wants, the CD yeah. Lamb money is a fair contract. I don't understand like what I, I do, mate, it's Take very money, hard bro. for me to understand when they're talking in thirty five million dollars a year. How you're sitting there squibbling over. I want to get a little bit more than Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Like, I want $2 million Clearly more. Clearly, it's a dick measuring. It, it is. That's thing. ridiculous. Right. If they come to me cares? and they were like, hey, we'll give you Justin Jefferson's contract, same as him, I'd be like, yeah, done. Cool. Cool. All good. Sign up, guys. Or if I don't like being here, you know what, guys? I don't like being here. No contract's going to be right. Um, let's work out a way to get me out of here. I don't yeah. want to play yeah. here anymore. Just make it, just be a man and make a decision. Like, grow up. Um, but I think what Burrow did for me watching that game, he put some doubt in my mind. I, he had a, he could do the heat this week. There's a lot of media people coming out and going, oh, why don't we give Joe Burrow the same hard time we give other quarterbacks? Yeah. Well, first of all, he was hurt most of the year last year. The year before that, he took the Bengals to a Super Bowl. He was five. No, no, to the AFC, AFC, AFC Championship. AFC Championship game. The year before, before he went to the Bowl. Super Bowl, yeah. lost by one play, lost because the O-line couldn't block um, Sam Darnold. Um, Sam Darnold definitely couldn't block Sam Darnold. No one can. They go to the dog. Aaron, Aaron Donald. Um, Aaron Donald. Yeah, and but no, no O-line can block him. <laughs> and he had a wide open touchdown if, the, if he had a half a second longer. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's why we give Joe Burrow the credit we give him. But again, the people could argue that Jalen Hurts went to a Super Bowl and we don't give him credit. But that's the thing. That was a year and a That was over two years ago now. Last yeah. year, he went five for five. Who? Joe Burrow. Yeah, he was hurt in the preseason. Like I said, there was reasons why. All I'm saying is watching that game, uh, Burrow's going to be fine. He's a good player. That, that, that kid played so hard. He no, gives no. a shit. I, he, I don't think anyone's doubting his talent. No. Nah, if, if you, are, if you are, you don't know football. Sorry. He can play hard. I just don't think Cincinnati are going to be the best fucking fit for him to actually bring in weapons for him. Well, because they're tight asses. Well, well, I, 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 I don't disagree with Jones. that. I don't disagree with that, bro. Because like, like it's, it's, like, it's been a real... Um, they just hit with their fucking draft picks. That's it's, all it is. It's turned on them this season, year. too. Like, it's turned on them. They, they let Boyd go thinking, oh, well, we'll have Burrow and Higgins. And then 
Higgins is hurt. There's rumours he's not actually that hurt. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's Why? come out and said it's not true, but because like, he doesn't want to play because he wants a contract too. Um. And then the Jamar Chase situation, like you can't... I'm sorry, if you're watching Jamar Chase play and telling me he's giving 100% effort, you're you're either stupid or a liar. He's yeah. not giving 100% effort. Yeah. He's not. And then it culminates in a dumb penalty like that because oh. you're getting frustrated. I reckon I said this two years ago. As soon as those three receivers are going to be up for money, they're going to fucking struggle. But they've got money. Just pay Higgins and Chase. I don't get... Or may, maybe don't pay Higgins. Pay Chase, though. Pay Chase and then bring in some off-season talent. Like, uh, uh, you can't... But, Here's the problem with the Bengals, right? And this is where Chase is upset. He, he thinks they're telling him different things than what they're doing. They're saying, we're going to re-sign you. T. Higgins has said the same thing. Tyler Boyd said the same thing. They said they'd re-sign me, and now they're saying they're not. And now, all of a sudden, they're, oh, I'm getting okay. traded. So, there's a lot of, like... There's a bit of bullshit going like Mixed on. messages going on. Yeah, that that would... If I was a player, that would frustrate me, too. If I'm T. Higgins, and I, I'm going to be like, hey, guys, tell me if you don't want to re-sign me long-term, and then... Let my agent look for a trade for another team that's yeah. willing to sign me. Yeah. If that trade doesn't happen, I will play you to the end of the season and I will <coughs> leave in free agency. Yeah, in, yeah, at the end of the season. I'll Unless someone on. comes with a trade that you guys are happy with and I'm happy with, then, then I'll go now. If not, I'll play this season out, play really well, and, and, and I'll, I'll get my contract. But yeah, at the moment, it's, um, it's, it's, it's tumultuous down in Cincinnati, I would say. I, th- I think they really need to get that sorted to get that offense going because they're going to need that offense going if they're going to win games. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, George, you want to talk about your boy? Man, how good's Kyler Murray? He was very good on the weekend. Like, I, I think I think we gotta we gotta start putting a little bit of respect on that little boy's name because um, he's basically he's, he's a been, talented Bryce Young. He's been out. He's been out basically for for the best part of two two years, give yeah. or take. Right? I think a lot of people have forgotten how fucking good this kid is. How good his arm he is. The last the full season got. he played, he was an MVP contender. Okay, that's right. Yeah, mm. I think a lot of people have forgotten, and we have gotta start putting a little bit more respect on his name. As I was a, as an athlete. As an athlete with his arm, like he's he's fucking incredible, man. That was a division game against the Rams as well. Like they're a tough game. Mate, he they absolutely them. fucking slaughtered them. And anyone that was worried about the relationship with Marvin Harrison Jr., yeah, they put that to bed real quick. He had four catches for 135 yards and two, two touchdowns, touchdowns in the first yeah. quarter. Yeah, yeah. Like on the first three drives. You, I saw I saw a stat that said his dad, who's 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 in, in the Hall of Fame, Correct. has never done that, and his son did it in his second game. Yeah. Uh, they were they were able to go, oh he's slow he can't get open, uh, yeah it turns out he can yeah he, he, can. Was, he can he was open in the first game yeah he, he was to get the ball fucking to get the ball exactly right like if he hits it, let's just put it into perspective if Kyler Murray hits him in that first game which he just genuinely didn't see him it it happens it yeah. does happen he didn't see him then he got pressured and couldn't get the throw to him that first yeah. game he ends up he at this point he's had like two hundred and fifty yards and three touchdowns in his first two games yeah. uh, he that's like Justin Jefferson yeah. start to get, like that you're on that sort of trajectory yeah. to be. Like Puka Nakua, Justin Jefferson, yep. that sort of rookie year. Yep. Yep. So I said it happens. Kyle Murray missed him. Kyle Murray, everyone took that as oh, it was spot. He was having a go. He wasn't having a go. He was literally saying it's not my job to force the ball to Marvin Harrison. And when and when he's open, I will throw him the ball. Yep. I missed him. I missed him. I know I missed him. I spoke to him. I said, bro, I missed you. I he missed you and, and, and I got it. pressured. I'm it's sorry, man. man. That's it. If, if, do you think Kyle Murray didn't want to throw a fucking 60 yard touchdown to win shit. the game That's against what I'm Buffalo? Saying. Like, why would they question that? Exactly. Did you, uh, did you see what Marvin Harris said about Kyle Murray, though? What? Too short? No, no, no. <laughs> he is, though. He missed four passes for the day. All four of them went to Marvin Harris. He takes that personally that he, dro- that he didn't actually get receptions from him. That, like, that he dropped them? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't think they were all drops. No, they were just, just missed throws. Missed connections. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was yeah. a couple that were hit, like the, like the routes weren't quite as clean. Like I said, he hasn't, played, he hasn't started consistently for two years, and it's his, well, it's his second game in the, the league. Like, they're going to find their When he came back last year, Kyler Murray was quite good down the stretch last year. So I said, I think the Cardinals are good. They're, 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 they're one and one. It was a really good win. Um, we'll talk about the Rams a bit later when we do some 0 2 teams, but they're in real strife. Mm. But I agree. I think Kyle, a healthy Kyle. Well, we talked about the best quarterback in the NFC last week. It's n- like, Kyle Murray could be the best quarterback in the NFC. Yeah. I, d- I don't disagree. Like, if he plays like this all year, like, if, sorry, if, if they all play like they're playing right now all year, Derek Carr will be the best quarterback in the NFC. A, 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 or healthy, Baker. a healthy Kyle Murray is a top 10 quarterback. I think so too. I think, I think I'd think i forgotten how athletic he that's was. What, that's how I well he was. raise it. We're not going to put God, he runs on the, his name. He runs the ball well. He runs it at the right time. Good vision. Good vision. Very good arm. Yeah. 
Like he's literally how small he is. He's he's got a fucking cannon, bro. He, I'm not even saying this to be mean to Bryce Young. He is just a talented Bryce Young. No, he is no, what but, Bryce but Young wishes he could be. No, you, you're wrong because their physiques are completely different. He's well more well. He's he's so th- much thicker and stronger. You can just see that he's like a strong man. Bryce Young looks like a high school kid. Are you Sorry. in love with Bryce Young? Are you in love with Kyle Murray? He I does love Bryce Young. Bit. You've so talked yeah. a lot about how thick Kyle Murray is. <laughs> And I know how like you. I know how much you love the thickies. You're thick. You're, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> That's not true. But no, no. He likes him with a pH. I like, I like him slim. <laughs> I like him slim, bro. I don't know. Oh, who that's what you that? ever said. Uh, <laughs> get on to the next topic. Here we go. Uh, no love, no problem for Green Bay. That's okay. We have got Josh Jacobs. We're going to run the ball. We'll run the ball down people's throats, and Malik Willis is going to throw the ball ten times, and, and they're going to win games. Twelve or fourteen. There, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I saw, and, and we were one of them. You're not going to win a game with Malik Willis. Why is he your backup? Uh, it turns out when you don't have to throw the ball that much, yeah. and I, I said I got to give all the credit in the world to. It's got to go to the floor. It has to. Has the to. way you said that game plan, basically we're going to run the shit out of this ball, and also weak as piss from the Colts. Let them run on you like that. Like it was a great game plan, but the Colts should have known they're going to try and run on us here. Yeah. What do you think they're going to do? Which is a real red flag for the they Colts. They got all defense. pro running back, and they got no quarterback. What do you think they're going to do? Yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's a shame they let them do that to them. But I thought Lafleur. That's that's all Lafleur because. Malik Willis got traded three weeks ago. Yeah. His team want, didn't want him. The Titans, whose starter is Will Levis, who the motherfucker can't stop ruining games for the Titans. He's had a like, couple of stinkers, hasn't he? He's literally... <laughs> he is the His sex tape is the epitome of his football <laughs> career. He's Rick Short and sweet. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> that is very, very good for me. That's my dog right there. Uh, but it said like uh, he got. T- they were basically like, "We don't want you. We're going to trade you to whoever will take you." And look, said, "Cram it in your cram hole, Lafleur. That dude's yeah. a fucking yeah. dog. Yeah. He's a dog. Yeah. He's just like, and you know what? He's a great offensive mind. He's Lafleur uh, is up there with McVeigh, Shanahan, those sorts of guys. Maybe not quite there, but he, it, he's up there. That wasn't just offensive though. That was defense. They, they murdered them. Too. That's what it. That's what it does when you force. AR to throw it fucking 34 fucking times. They did this to Lamar Jackson the start of his career as well. Yeah. Force him to throw the fucking ball. You're not beating, you with the, beating us with your legs. Throw the fucking ball. Yeah. Throw three picks. Someone yep. had the audacity. Control the fucking ball. Spot on, Brocky. Someone had the audacity, and I won't say their name for respect, Ooh. to message me and say, do you love Anthony Richardson now? Say it. No, I'm not going to say it. Say it. You do. Neither of you know him anyway. That's, that's weak as piss. Call, uh, uh, just call him out, bro. Fucking you, Jacko. You know I'm coming. Oh, shout out to Jacko. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he, t- and he was like, oh, you, know, you said he, he was up to the Patreon? No, he hasn't. If Get he on the Patreon, Patreon Jacko. If, if, if he does, he can say what he wants, in fairness. Fair. Um, he's, paid his, he's paid his price. A hundred percent. You know what? Some say I'm a weak man. I am. Pay it and you can say what you want. That's right. Um, I said, I said, the difference, one of the difference, he said, basically, like you destroy, basically the message was you destroy Bryce Young for playing poorly. And then Anthony Richardson does that. No one destroys him. And my response was, do you know why? Because Anthony Richardson has... That's tangible. That was a bad game for him, and he played badly. There are still 10 <laughs> plays during that game that I was like, oh, this dude's good. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's tangibles. He's a young quarterback that misses it. This is his rookie year, Anthony Richardson. Yeah. He's playing his fifth game. That was his fifth game. Defense is going to do some things to him. Green Bay are an experienced team. A lot of veterans. Some really good players on that team. Good organization. Good they're coaching good, staff. Yeah, yep. They're going to test him. They, they're going to find ways to test him. He couldn't overcome it on the weekend. But the traits for him are so high and so advantageous. There are no. There's not many guys that are 6'6", six, six, run a 4'3", four, 9", four, and can throw the ball like him. Agreed. You just don't get them. So that's the difference between... You put him next to Bryce Young, they don't look like they play the same fucking sport. They don't even look no. like the same species of yeah. human, bro. That's it. Like, like you may as well put it, you may as well, like you put Bryce Young and Darren Sproles together, you might think they're the same sport. Yeah. yeah. Like at least, at least Darren Sproles was good. That's probably unfair to Darren Sproles shout to compare him hey, to Bryce Young. He's an eagle. To the, to the Sproles. <laughs> he was a charger first, back up for yeah, RT. I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Andy Richard had a bad day, but Green Bay, they're they're a quality. They're a quality program. They're a quality organization. I agree. But and mind LaFleur, you, Lafleur should get all the credit. Who do they Shout play out. this week, Green Bay? Because it's not going to surprise me if this week it all just blows up. The team they're playing doesn't let them run the ball at all, and just absolutely smothers them. Malik Willis completely falls yeah, but, apart. But Disregard dis- 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 that. Nah, they'll win another game. Who are they playing? The Tennessee fucking oh, yeah. Titans. Oh my god, it's a Malik Willis revenge game. <laughs> Who idiot. would have thought? Of all the things we thought we'd get this year, the, week, the Malik the Willis revenge game. <laughs> I would have never predicted it week three. 
<laughs> That's very good. You gotta love it, don't you? I might pick up my quarterback for fantasy. He's gonna pop off. Yeah, pop, yeah that mate. Revenge games are always you always better revenge off. games. Uh, is anyone? But is anyone on the Titans having a revenge game against Green, Green Bay? Bay? That's what you got to check. Because if it's a double revenge game, all bets are off. You don't know what's going to happen. It's a push. Yeah. It's a push. <laughs> just, so this a was normal a, game. So this was a, a fun little topic that I uh, suggested because I, I do contribute. I to contribute. The I contribute, James. Uh, that's what you think. See, fuck, I contribute. F- fuck you, Brock. I think if you have to keep saying it, you know, <laughs> we agree. We only do it to roll you up, George. Yeah, and it works every so time. So you have to. Keep, if you have to keep saying it, it's because it's really getting to. Yeah, you. It is. We love you and appreciate oh, everything you. you do. It's like okay? six one height. It really gets to him when we say six, six one. one. <laughs> six one and a half. Listen, 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 listen. Six one and three quarters. I'll get you three of those crates, and you can look me eye to eye you know, and tell me that. I'm, okay. I'm going to wear my fucking high tops next week, and I'll be Very fucking good. same height as you. Three of those crates, so you can look me eye to eye and call me. You short, know what? Okay? Fair response for fair attack. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then we'll go in the gym and do some bench press. Okay, I'm still taller than Billy. It's fine. <laughs> Who isn't? Still, oh, if that's the benchmark. I still, still want <laughs> to do it back to back. Battle of the Hobbits over here. Yeah. Um, so I thought a fun little fun little topic for the party mm-hmm. would be what's the most surprising 2-0 team and what's yeah. the most surprising 0-2 team? And okay. obviously we've got them listed here and we can talk about them. And I thought maybe we'll give our top two or top three of, of what we think. Can I, can I start with mine? Please. The Vikings. The They're most surprising 2-0. Oh. Yeah. So who, I can't remember who they beat week one, but they beat the 49ers in San Fran on the weekend. Yep. Sam Darnold has looked safe as houses. They He's looked fantastic. They beat the New York Giants. New York Giants. Sorry. Giants isn't a great win. But look, sorry. They didn't just beat the New York Giants. They annihilated them. They annihilated yeah. Defensively, they 20, look 28. absolutely refreshed. They look absolutely refreshed on defense. Um, Sam Darnold is well in control. This, this could all fall off the... Off the fucking, this could all go off the radar next week. But I think if, if anyone, if you'd said all these teams, the Vikings would have been the hardest one for me because I would have never thought they'd beat San Fran. I just couldn't have thought they could do that. Mm. That's yeah, a no, massive. No, no win. CMC was always especially be Donald was the backup in for, at the 49ers last year. I would have thought yeah. defensively they would have been like, we know his strengths no, and weaknesses. No. Revenge game. Re- revenge Bang. game. Week two, Sam Donald revenge game. I love we should, we I should love have been revenge, all over this. This should be a revenge arc for the season. Revenge I arc. Like I just think I think that's it's really surprising to me. The other teams, I look at them. Nah, I th- you I, can sell it. You can, can I, sell can it. I, can teams. I give you mine? You can get definitely. I, give I you think yours. the New Orleans Saints have to be the most surprising. I'm not surprised. Not, by not so much. Not so much the fact that they're two and zero, but the way that they've been two and zero. They've had they scored fif- like nearly hundred points in two weeks, man. They've had fifteen offensive. Drives and scored on every single one of them in their first two weeks. What the actual fuck? Who, who could have fuck. predicted that? They have 15 of 15. It's something like, I think it's 11, 12 touchdowns and then the rest of field goals. Dude, Derek Carr, Wild. you want to talk about Sam Darnold. At the moment, Sam Darnold is probably comeback player of the year. Yep. Derek Carr is MVP right now. If you're giving out MVP today, it's, it's, it's Derek Carr. He's definitely better than that Dak Prescott guy. He has been this year, 100%. If he plays like this I, all year, it's over. I went a year early. The Saints are fucking good. I think you have no, no. The Saints are fucking good. Again, they they'll beat, win, up, they they'll beat win up on the division. Panthers week one. I don't know if the Cowboys are a good defense. I thought they were against the Browns, but the Browns were a big up of crappy offense. they made fucking Diggs look second rate. Yeah, because you know what Diggs decided to do during the week when the media asked him about covering Alave and he said who? Oh, nah, no. Nah, he said what's the qu- what's the... What's the question? Or something is like it, that. Is that a serious do. question or something? Yeah. yeah Either way, he disrespected him. He's in like, why would I be worried about that? Why? Maybe because they're why? an NFL wide receiver, dickhead. Um, I think I think Dick's got why? another pick though. I'm pretty sure he had a tip ball picked another pick again. Okay. A dude just can't stop getting interceptions in fairness. Yeah, he can't cover. He can cover. He can cover. Alave, Alave wasn't that good. He only had, I think he had four for 84. Alave wasn't that good. And a touchdown. I didn't touch him. Go, well, the, go, well, Dick's regard. Do you want to know what the difference this year for the Saints is, in my opinion? Derek Carr. Derek Carr's playing great, but Kam- the Alvin big Kamara. difference is Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. He looks like he did kind yeah. of four years ago. The O line's playing really well, oh, and good. Kamara is making guys miss. He you looks really fresh, really healthy. He's got like real bounce. You know why Kamara yeah. had fucking four touchdowns? Because hmm? the person I was playing in fantasy fucking had him. <laughs> I had him. <laughs> and when he scored fucking six, I fucking played him as well. Do you know? I, Fuck Kamara. I, 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 I had him in fantasy, and as I'm watching him annihilate my team at 4:30 a.m. in the morning, all I could think of. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely routing someone in fantasy right now at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah. Um, but no, the Saints are very surprising. They've um, put up nearly 100 points I love in they had four for, 81. That's, four for 81. That's something. Yeah, that's I don't something. I don't think four for 81 is kicking Trayvon Diggs' ass. He had, he had one good catch on him. When Derek Carr only threw 11 from 16. Who's, who's your... Oh, who's it was your all big plays. surprising to yeah, know. All big plays. Let me just look at the list here. Oh, cool. 
Good work, Brock. I'd have prepared for this don't, shit. Don't attack Trayvon Diggs and then come out with this absolute schmutt. <laughs> you gonna get there, Brock? You got, do, I, do I have to keep br- LA Chargers? Do you like them? No, the Seahawks. The Seahawks. <laughs> That's actually surprising. The Seahawks are two and zero. Not by who they played. That they're not going to be to be good. They they're be- meant to be in a rebuild. They year. beat Denver. Okay, Denver. And then oh. they beat the Pats. They beat Denver with Bone... Like, it's almost like Bonix is trying to lose games at this point. <laughs> Just on a side topic, did you see the mask, Bonix, what happened on the interception he threw in the red zone? And he was like, yeah, well, I, I'm, I dropped back and I threw it and the other team caught it. Next question. <laughs> Hey. But he didn't even do it pissed off. It was just like, it was like he was just genuinely answering the question. It was very well played by him. That's the best way to do it. Show me where he's wrong, though. He's just like, I dropped back, I threw it, the other team caught it. Next question. (laughs) But it wasn't a, like, that was Russell Wilson. He's doing it all pissy. He just answered it like it was any sort of question. Like, it was so funny. That's good. Um, Because he's a 30 year old grown man. He is. He understands the job. He's got four kids at home. Like, he's (laughs) never got to provide for them. (laughs) He won't be doing it for long. (laughs) No, no. Um, So, who's your favorite? They they beat the Pats in overtime. So, like, the Pats in overtime. I kind of get what he's saying. Pat's defense got some dogs about him. But I said, if if I, I, I could go back and look at my predictions, I reckon I had the Seahawks winning the first two games. Because I don't think the I don't think the Titan the Den, I don't think Denver or Patriots were any good. I think I had the Patriots winning like one game for the year or yeah. two games. For like Geno yeah. Smith threw three hundred and twenty seven yards. Yeah, like, like what, this, what was good about them was that their JSN dog yep. and Metcalf. Oh, all of a sudden if you've got a an intermediate and short route runner yeah. in JSN that you can you can make you hit passes you to. Oh, oh, you, you want to leave Metcalf one on one? Have fun, idiots. Yeah. That that's what's surprising me because like. Yeah. They're not meant to be doing this. Like everyone thought last year was going to be somewhat of a fluky year. I could see it. I could see. It. I could see them. I said it's not only not surprising because of who they've played. Let's see who they play this week. I think they have the Niners this week. Um, in in fairness, I need to get like a schedule put up on the wall there. Seahawks have the Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins, Lions, Giants. Oh my god, they're going. Did they go four and one? Man, nah, they won't beat the Lions. That's the thing. They'll go four and one. They're they two beat, and zero. They, they'll, they they'll beat win, the they'll Dolphins win. and they beat Giants. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they're losing to the Dolphins this week. No, nah, not not with no tour. No way. No but tour. They're bringing that back up. Whoever they fucking pick up, Skylar Thompson. Ty, even if they bring in Tano, it's too, you can't bring him in for this week. It's too no, late. Yeah. No uh, yeah. They said that about Baker. Hey Baker. And Baker. And Baker. Hey, Baker. hey oh. I'm starting. I'm starting a segment. Yeah. We, this is weekly. Weekly Baker watch because I'm fucking on him this oh. year. Oh, don't get me hard him. anymore, Josh. <laughs> I'm on him. I'm like all Josh. the way in him. I said George. I thought you said Josh. I definitely <laughs> said Josh. Why Baker. did you look at me like that? Try to call me out of this. <laughs> did you say George or Josh? I didn't hear. I'm deaf, so I'm not Well, you know what the great thing is? This is the recording and we can just watch <laughs> it back later. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Hey. You, you said, said, record it. You said record Josh, it. didn't you? I you said Josh. I thought he did. I professed my love <laughs> for Baker last week. Yeah. And he a fucking dog. Welcome he, aboard. He's, he's, he's go. Yeah, that, this is a pro Baker podcast. The um the South might be a really fun race. It's it's because Carolina sudden, are orbit eliminated. Yep. It's all of a sudden turned into a good division. <laughs> like, yeah. When did this happen, man? Saints, Bucks, and a third team, Falcons. Falcons. Who, who, sorry, who beat, hey, who beat the Eagles? No, no, I'm don't fine. get upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. You, I've got a few things to say. You we'll s- get to you it. smashed everything around the no, floor. No, 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 no. Broke cool. the room. I'm cool. I'm calm. Threw my ocean Jeffrey helmet. He said, "Get these Eagles. Calm. I'm positive. Man, you're out of here. Um, no, yeah, no, I've enjoyed that." Uh, I don't think really it, like Steelers aren't a surprise. They haven't really beaten anyone good. Like maybe beating Atlanta. I don't know. Buffalo, a bit of a surprise. To like, be two and zero. To beat Dolphins in like they beat Dolphins in Miami. They've, they've, they've had the wood over them for years. Yeah, I'm saying they're a little bit of a surprise. In case they're not a surprise because they're obviously got the refs on their side and hey the NFL on their side. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, well, most surprising zero and two team. You go first, James. Um, how do we have the Panthers as the most surprise in this? No, we're not. No, that's just, the, that's just that's an order. Just, that's, oh. that's not a surprising order. They're just yeah. old too. Um, I am going to go with obviously the Giants. I thought they had all the talent ah, in the world this year. Ah, you fucker. Fuck the Giants. Um, no, I think Ravens were talked about. Uh, uh, Colts to me. At the, I didn't think the Colts would go on to. Or the Jaguars. I thought they'd both win a game in their first. Uh, the Colts have lost to a um, Jordan Love list Green Bay. Yep. And who'd they lose to? They had, oh, they lost to the Texans week one. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the, uh, that's not that surprising. Like it's just I'm trying to not say the Ravens, but it has to be the Ravens. It, but it's, it's, sorry, it's, I'm not trying to be a hater, but like they were the number one seed last I year. I never would, like maybe I think they lo- I, they they would lose to the Chiefs week one. 
I didn't think they'd lose to the Raiders. You know they were like nine and a half point favorite. Jeez. It was the highest highest point differential favorite this week. Uh, I'm not saying this to be an asshole. Like they were just an asshole, yeah. like everyone was like, oh, this people are gonna be turning this game off at like after quarter yeah. time. That's how yeah. bad the Raiders are. Um, it's got to be and, the Raiders. And Sorry. they had them. Like they, they had them. They've they've had them both. Bengals. It was a toe the first week. Yeah. Like the toe cost them the first week. Like it's very easy to be like, I think the Ravens are gonna be fine. Like I don't. Th- it it is just surprising. I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying they're not gonna be. They just fine. haven't it's found just a way to win one of those two. That's all. They're real the Bengals. Yeah, the Bengals. But the real big issue for the Ravens is their defense plays down to their fucking team they're playing. Mm. If they play a shit team, they won't do fuck all. Yeah. But they play a good fucking team, the defense fucking shows up and we get picks and we actually force fumbles. Yeah. But when we actually play a shit team, they don't fucking they, try. They, they look good against Kansas last week. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good. That's what I mean. They yeah, show up. Team. Yeah. They show up. A good team. Shit team. I just wish I likely... Just got to get that running game going. Isaiah likely just needs a, a small foot and you guys be one-on-one and we wouldn't even be having no, this. No, you know what he sure. needs? He needs a Deion Sanders fucking... Sort of treatment and cut, yeah, big toe cut off. the turf toe off. Yeah. Cut the big toe off, and you're good. Mm. If you had the Dion shoes on, the or I, just, they made the, like, I think if that was the Chiefs, they would have just made the end zone bigger for them, so it could have been. It would have like it would have like they would have gone in and like cut a bit of the see, wide did out. Did you see that little fucker? Did you see that little motherfucker, Patrick Mahomes, afterwards saying, "Oh yeah, he should just worn, he should just wear fucking white cleats, and then he wouldn't have this problem." He said that in his post game conference. Did you see that? He said, "Oh, yeah, he should just wear white cleats. He wouldn't have this problem." Actually, no, I'm, I'm off, I'm off him because he fucking supports. Patty Mahomes. Yeah, I'm off oh. him because he supports the fucking cunt from Nebraska. Drop the C bomb. Drops the guy from Nebraska. Shout out. Who C-bomb. dresses like Patrick Mahomes? Rayola. Oh, because they're him. mates. No, I can't stand it. Do you realize he's like it's a parody? I, I don't care. No, he's, it's not a parody. Yeah, he's doing it on purpose. I think he's the Rams. Not doing, he's doing it on he's purpose. Doing it to annoy people like no, you. No, he's not. He's doing it on purpose because he yes. wants to be Patrick Mahomes. The Rams being on to is a little surprising. I mean, obviously, we can speak on the fact that they've got a injuries. lot of fucking injuries. You they're know, missing they're both half, o tackles, half their own line, backup O tackles, backup both guards, their, both their both their receivers. Like, yeah, Cup and Puka now out. I don't think Stafford of the. Speculation: Stafford's on a hundred percent. Stafford's never been a hundred percent in his life. This might be a um, a cue in the rack sort of season for the Rams by in the next couple of weeks. Pack it up again, again. It, wow. on, it honestly might be. A, hey, let's put Stafford on IR and keep him around for next year. Yeah, yeah it's not the worst. I mean, he's not getting any younger. Out of him. Not get getting a, any younger. Get a get a top you know top ten pick. Put bring in another talented guy and hope for the best. Yeah, because like, who do the Rams play this week? Uh, the Rams have. I I saw it before and I forgot. They have the 49ers. 49ers, in, 49ers in, in coming LA. off a loss. Is it in LA? In LA. Doesn't matter. 49ers coming off a loss without they're not they're probably not going to have cup. They're definitely not going to have Puka. They're not getting their O line guys back. Mm. I don't know. I think the Rams are going to Yeah. Give them an absolute bath. Like they they're going to be on 3. Yeah. So I think the Rams are in real trouble. At all and three, you ain't making the playoffs, really. It's very tough. The Bills did it last year, but it's very, very tough. Mm. And yeah, but the Bills got Josh Allen. The, the hilarious <laughs> thing is, not only did the Bills make the playoffs last year, they went zero and three and won the division. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, right. that's wild. Um, and that's the thing. Like you know, the worry about the Ravens and the Bengals, they're only two games behind the Steelers, who yeah. they're going to get to play twice. Yeah, both of them get to play them twice. Still, I don't think the Browns are any good. So like, yeah, there's no point to worry. Cole, like, uh, can we talk about the Jags for a sec? Before sure. we get to that, yes. Stafford has two more years of his contract. They're paying him a lot of fucking money for the next two years. Put him on ice. Put him on ice so you actually get so your you get next year out of him. Yeah, yeah. There's, on, there's no need to risk it. He's on forty nine next year and fifty three in his last year. Unless you can get on a run. Unless like they win this, they somehow win this week and then get on a run. Then like, all right, yeah, cool, we're back you, on track. You can bring him back. And you're yeah. getting cut back. You're getting Puka back. But if if they lose the next two games and Puka and and Cup aren't back, put him on ice. Like, yeah. Just, don't, don't let him get hurt. Like, yep. I, don't, I don't disagree. I, yeah. I wanna, the la- last team I want to speak about, and n- not I'm not surprised that they're 0 2, but I just mm. want to talk about Who? my my little friend <laughs> Bryce, my little oh, friend Bryce. Bryce. So obviously the story's come out now through the week that he's now been benched, Randy properly Dalton. benched. Poor Andy Dalton he for just the Red teams Rocket. Just keep making him work <laughs> for the Red Rocket. Andy Dalton. He thought he was all he wants go to do is just ride. sit on the bench and chill out, and teams are just like. Hey, Dak Prescott snapped his ankle. You got to play, man. Yeah, I think he was even before. I think it was. It, it was wasn't when he broke his it ankle. Before. He definitely played for the Cowboys one year, though. It yeah, was he awful. Did. He definitely did. Um, it was. It was the ankle breaking year. Mm. Yeah. Are you guys surprised at this benching or not? I think they're doing a protect him. I'm yeah. not looking at it as a, his career's over now. It could be, 
because he's been awful, but I think they're like this. We can't give this kid what we need right now, and putting him on the field is not it's scary. Going, yeah, it's it's not going to help him. That that team has not done anything for him. That club has not done nothing for him. Haven't given him a good O line to fucking stand the kid up to help him throw the ball. Okay, giving him no good fucking receivers. Give him no running. Well, back. they had a good receiver, DJ Moore. They traded away to get him. Yeah, exactly true, but like they have Chubba Hubba as their fucking running back. Well, they've got the old Miles, uh, the Eagles running back, Miles, Miles Sanders. Sanders. Yeah, Miles Sanders. He barely gets on the field. Mm. I, I don't know. The, the O line can't do shit to open up any holes. Though. Mate, David Tepper fired two coaches. He he fired a coach, right? Then hired another one, and after four games, fired him in the four games into his five year contract. Yeah. Yep. Like, like it's, it's a garbage fire. Oh, I they, re- they really are a dumpster fire of an organisation. That's why I think the biggest issue with Bryce Young is his best chance now, and I'm going to call it the Sam Darnold or the Baker, yeah. is to get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. And get, get himself out of that team. Sit, but you know what? This just, just spitballing. If they could get him to the Jets this year and sit him behind Aaron Rodgers for the rest of the season, sure, maybe he's got a chance. Yeah. Maybe. I, think I, don't think, I don't think he's good enough. Which I think the clear. way forward for them... Yeah. is to trade their number one pick if if this is what they want to do, mm. right? Because it's either Bryce Young can play in the league or he can't. So it's either he's he can't play yep. and you move on from him yep. and you draft a quarterback at number you, one. You, you Josh Rosen it and you're like, yeah, we're done. Right? Yep. You, you have to. And they've got that, that kid that's coming up from... Uh, Carson Beck from yeah. Georgia. Yeah. So, yep. you know, he, all reports are that he's going to... The worst is go all that they, they had Stroud. Yeah, I know. But but anyway, that's gone. That's in the mm. past. That's, I'm is. saying like moving forward, yep. what do you do? So you've got to make a decision. Can this kid play? Is he good enough to play in the league? If he is, you trade that number one pick, you get two or three, you get two first round picks and try and bring in maybe a tackle and a receiver yep. and try something. You know what the funny thing about that first pick is? It's fucking pick six at the moment. Why is that? Because there's... there's Five other teams that are worse than them. Yeah, that won't happen. That won't happen. They're, 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 like pr- they're, they're going to be competing for the number one pick. There's for a sure. chance the Panthers don't win a game this year. Yeah, no shit. The fact that they brought up the fucking the live clock since they last had a yeah. lead. Yeah. And it wasn't just like the date, it was like a seconds ticking it's, over it's since they last had a lead. They can't like, get Fred. The to disrespect. Join you do that, really. or you go, nah, fuck it. We're just going get, to get rid of him and we're going we're gonna to draft Carson Beck and we're going to go from there. Like you got to do something. You can't just. Oh, I don't know what. Can't leave him out there like that. It's no fucked. One, no one will give it's, him it's just bad. for him. I think David Tepper's a terrible owner, and I think he's he's a cancer of the organization. And he's destroying it from the inside out. Yeah, but what yeah. do you do though? The guys, the guy owns the. What I do you know do? that. Can't take the franchise off. What, what I'm saying is, is, if I'm a Panthers fan right now, I don't see where the hope is. I'm pretty good at being able to f- pick it, find a team, and go. This is what I. This is what I think they can do to fix the situation. Well, that's kind of what I'm asking you. Uh, yeah, I I don't see the way forward for them. I don't think Bryce Young is the future for them. I don't think Bryce Young should want to be. But they asked the kid, are you down on confidence? And he responded with, no, I have faith in the Lord. It's like, yeah. k- kid, that, no one, that's a yes. No one asked you about your religion. Nah, but that, that, that's a yes. That's him. I don't know what to say here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall back on religion. That's yeah. a stupid fucking that's question from the reporter anyway. Like, w- w- what do you expect the kid to say? Like, yeah, like my confidence is shot. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I can play football anymore. Like, what, what do you think he's going to say? But having I have faith in the Lord, he should have been like, no, I'm not down on my confidence. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Bro. My ability's gotten me to this point. I'll, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. I'll work yeah. it out. Yeah. Uh, look, they're, they're just, they're such a bad organization. They lost Brian Burns in the offseason for a second round pick. Going back to what you said before. Yeah. Going back to what you said before. Go yeah. back two steps. You said about, you mentioned Stroud. Yeah. Do you think Stroud there is doing any better than what how, than Young is doing? Better, but not good. Uh, How much better? How many war in, in baseball? They have war wins above wins above replacement. How many wins above above Bryce Young is he? I don't know if there's many more wins. I just think he's a more productive guy because he's got more traits that you know. We talked before about Anthony Richardson sure. and Bryce Young, right? Sure, yeah, I agree. Go- if Anthony Richardson's at Carolina, he's probably making some things happen because he's got these raw traits. Bryce Young doesn't have any traits that are saving him from a poor team. So then, why was he drafted number one? I don't was know. It just, was I it just don't, like that bad of I a fuck up? I don't him? know college football well enough. I don't know. He was a pretty consensus number one pick. It's it was him and Stroud. They won. They won the fucking championship that year. They, yeah. He was a good quarter. He was a good college quarterback. He's just yeah. so small. Yeah. Well, the difference is like there was a play on the weekend where he kind of naked boot, like, and he ran out, and he's looking. He's trying his ass off. Like he's looking for someone to throw it to. 
And then this this linebacker just drills him. It's like he didn't. It's like he didn't realize this guy's coming so fast to yeah. me. Yeah. And the poor kid, I think he's in that mindset. I'm just going to make this guy miss the last second because it's college football. Like mm. these dudes Doesn't are work all anymore, Doesn't work like they're all anymore. way bigger. Way faster, that's, way stronger. That's a bit Caleb Williams here at the moment as exactly. well. Exactly, Caleb Williams looked a bit. But again, Caleb Williams, there's that's plays tangible, where you're like, there's, there's traits here. Yeah. He can make a guy miss. There was a play on the weekend for Caleb Williams where he was literally getting sacked and he dra- his shirt ripped him escaping. Yeah, like yeah. That's how strong he was, that he could run through the guy's hand and just let his shirt rip apart as he ran away. Yeah. Like That's a strong kid. And then, yeah, he missed the throw, but you see these things and you're like, he makes some throws. You're like, okay, that dude he's just got, stepped up in the pocket the and zipped the ball over the middle. Do yeah. It. yeah, Bryce Young. I've never once watched him play and been like, oh yeah, hey, that yeah, yeah like Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, he's struggling, right? He's overrated. You watch him and there's throws where you're like, Whoa. like the touchdown he threw to Brian. Yeah, that was Brian cool. Thomas last yeah. week, the rookie. He lets that ball go to the back corner of the end zone when the guy's crossing the the goalposts. Yeah, that's twenty yards. That that guy still has to run before the ball lands, and he get and it's perfect. And it was over like, defenders, boop. over Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, like I'm just like there's traits in these guys. Like yeah, we might not Prescott makes some dumb mistakes, but he's big, he's strong, he runs, he throws the ball accurately. There's traits. I, Bryce Young doesn't have a trait. I, I haven't seen a, a positive trait. A trait there was, there was a PMT clip I saw today, and mm. it was PFT commentator talking about he's never seen a quarterback in his team where he can drop back. Five yard drop back, step up and throw a fucking thirty yard fucking ball. Carolina don't have that at the moment. No, they're fucking scared, and you can't just be, like draft another fucking quarterback from the draft. It just does. It won't fix their issues. I also don't. Their like, issues are not just a quarterback position. Do the do the they got the, nothing? Is the culture so bad in Carolina that they just don't want to play? Because the problem with Carolina oh, is wow, they've <laughs> got it. That's a fucking big statement. No, like bro. they just don't want to play hard. Are they just there collecting a paycheck? A lot of these guys, I, I reckon so. Because well, they, they signed that Robert it's, Hunt from the Dolphins. It's not as stupid as it sounds. And they they paid him twenty million a year. Where I can guarantee you, no one was paying Robert Hunt twenty million a year. Mm. He was not even the best card available. And they overpay these guys to get them to come. Play and that out. Play that out. What you just said. That statement about they're just collecting a paycheck. They know they can't win. Yeah. They know they suck. Yeah. They know they don't have the quarterback. They know they don't have the talent. Like I will. We'll just like, go there and do what we need to do. Put whatever we need to put on tape so that we look at least half decent. I so feel like that team money. is is that they're, they're it's like that you know they're all in on the joke except for like Adam Thielen and the coach. Yeah, they all don't realize that they that they're a part of it. That it's all a joke and they're not part. But you know, like it's Javian Clowney side there for the most money he could get. Yeah, he doesn't like he's just there because like are they in the locker room? And they're all like, yeah, man, I just wanted the twenty million a year. Real like, yeah, true. Show like yeah, I just wanted the twelve like, million a year. Where Adam Thielen's in there ranting, and raving, and carrying on, trying to get the guys hyped up, and they're all like, "We don't care, man." Yeah, we're like whatever, dude. Yeah. Like we got but a quarterback what? that can't see over a bloody shoebox. This, shoe is, box. this like, is not we're, a we're new not thing. Is this a new thing for the Panthers? Like, they were like this before they traded Cam, before they drafted Cam. Cam Newton was a culture changer. That was that was the same. And yeah. I remember speaking to a couple of Panthers fans. And in fairness, like, oh, that Ron Rivera was a part of that. Yeah, you know, he was a coach that changed the culture it, there. It is the thirtieth thirtieth year in the league. Mm. Like, so they are an expansion franchise. Yeah, they've but even ne- still, but no, but they've never really been set up properly at all. So you look at the expansion fucking well, their, franchise. Their previous owner, like I know David Tepp is a sack of shit, but their previous owner was w- like, you got to remember their, I think it was Alan Richardson. He got removed from ownership. Yeah. I know he got to sell it, but he didn't want to sell it. They he were basically forced. like, you're such the a piece of shit. Him, you're selling you're a racist. You're sexually assaulting so people. It's, <gasps> it's, like you're, it's been you're, you're done. That's imagine, that culture. Imagine how bad years. you yeah. have to be that a room full of white billionaires are like, nah, we don't want to Imagine party. sitting there and Jerry <laughs> Jones coming in and going, you're, you're, you're a fucking sexist. Your behavior <laughs> is not good enough. You'd be like, you fucking kidding me, Jerry? Imagine, hey, imagine you Jerry look Jones. look at me in the eyes. You look at me in the eyes. Hey, you've never sent an email about that black guy down there. You've never... You, you tell me. You Dan. never throw. You never thrown a rock at a black kid crossing the road. Dan Schneider got fucking done last year. Exactly. John Imagine Gruden Jerry got Jones, done. Jerry Jones calling you sexist and racist. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, like, hey, wh- where's the hidden cameras? This is a prank, right? This is a fucking prank. I, 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 I saw the pumped? funniest. The funniest thing I've ever heard was them 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 reviewing Snyder for being a piece of shit, and somehow John Gruden <laughs> gets sidetracked. He's, he's the only one that got sidetracked. He's the only one that paid the price. He's the real so, just like. Is he looking at me? <laughs> John's like, he didn't even mean my emails. He's like, is he talking you, about me? <laughs> you said something about the cheerleaders' tits. He's like, mm, yeah, that no, might have happened. Did yeah. you it fucking see him, bud? It's basically like, I know, right? Those, those emails are Did basically... Did you see the Miami Dolphins dancer? 
Uh, no, I didn't. I'll send you the video. Please do. You two are creeps. Hey, S- send send it to me too. Hey, put, put it in, it in the group chat. Hey, almost God made me. Okay, John John Gruden getting done for that thing is like God getting into your group chats. Like, That's exactly. Uh, it's, and it'd be like your missus getting into the group chat and being like, "I'm messaging Jay as well. This is yeah. fuck. <laughs> this is." That's exactly what it was. It All was right. like. So let's put a button on this. Yep. Basically, all the consensus here is that it's grim days ahead for Carolina. <laughs> yes, for at least the next what? Three I'll, or four I'll ask years. you guys this. Do Move. you think they win? If you gun to your head, are they winning a game this year? No. no. I, I think gun to my head, they will. It's very hard to go on Unless 0 and 17. Move the but team. I, but there, there's Move, a real Unless team. Bryce, Bryce move Young move wakes move up to tomorrow Hallelujah. and becomes rookie Russell Wilson, it ain't going to happen. They're not winning a game. God, I reckon they. they, they if Bryce Young woke up tomorrow and came right now, Russell Wilson, I reckon they take it. That's the saddest part. Wow. wow. That's, that's the saddest part. Yeah. That's they would take him playing as Russell Wilson right that now. That is a kick to the balls of a statement. <laughs> Facts. Hey, um, should we talk about the Monday night game? Oh, uh, yeah, quickly. Can we go quickly? Why? We're going to get out of here. Come on, quick. Do we? Monday night game. Um, How upset are you? I'm not over. I'm upset because. I thought the end to that game was exactly what I thought was would fucking happen. Nick Sirianni's a piece of shit. No. First of all... Jason Kelsey needs to leave the limelight for a bit. It's getting too much for me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the green... The green... The green Italian suit. Italia the suit. Lua suit. Like, what uh, the fuck? Gander giving it from fucking... The security guard Dom as well. I don't, I don't stylist, need it. Whoever his stylist no, is, they, they, they need to have a is, Can I just... Before you tell you, is Jason Kelsey... Oh, this sounds so bad to say this. Is he becoming a bit too much? That's what I'm saying. In what way? Like I'm, I'm, I, I don't. I never thought I'd get to this. I'm kind of sick of him. He was in the game was in Philly. The game was in Philly. They brought him on the, I know, on the broadcast. I know. They brought him and they brought every, him on for the third quarter, and then, and then he was so ad. good that he stayed. No, yeah. but he's doing every Monday night game. Yeah, he's doing Monday night games. Yeah. I, 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 I don't mind it. I know. I and I've liked him for so long, and now I'm like, I'm how is it any different to like when Peyton and Eli are doing it? And this, how is it any different? No, but it's the same thing. It's too fucking much. The difference is, I'm Peyton and Eli aren't forced down my throat every twelve seconds. Like he's on every ESPN ad. He's, on, I get it. He's really popular right now, Jason. Kelly. They're pushing him. There's this no this doubt dude about played it. in the NFL for sixteen years, and no one knew his name until two years ago. <laughs> like, and now he's like. I just wish you could go back to the old O-line, Jason, that no one knew about, that I knew about. Yeah. I'm jealous of people know about. Uh, okay, is that it's what Travis? it is? It's jealous. I've worked it out. I just know him as Travis's brother. That's what wow. he is. Wow. Wow. No, Travis's I just brother. know him as Taylor Swift's brother-in-law. Oh, you <laughs> shut up. He might be the best center ever. Shut up. He's man. Taylor Swift's brother-in-law for another t- nine days when the breakup yeah, happens, break according up to the happens, document. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the countdown. Don't fucking stop. So, <laughs> again, Atlanta were good. Good on the road. Um... No, um, their defense was patchy. I mean, Philly's defense was pretty, pretty patchy as well. Thank you, I'm really, I'm really disappointed in our. We we're, were speaking about this before the show. Like, basically, no, no pass rush, no, no pressure on the QB. We've got big names, big names on that D line, and basically, you want to talk about collecting a paycheck? Those motherfuckers are collecting a fucking. Paycheck. Jordan Davis is. I, I don't think Jalen Carter is. I think Jalen Carter is really good. Jordan Davis is collecting. Davis, pressure. Carter, half Graham, half. They're doing nothing. None of them. Not one, the, at no point did I ever see. And Kirk Cousins is old, and he's coming off a fucking Achilles. Like, put some pressure on the guy, man. Make him move around. He was standing there like a statue in the pocket, delivering the ball. Like, and, what are you guys doing? And you called it when Saquon Barkley dropped that catch. You instantly messaged us saying, "That's going to fuck us. We're going to lose this because yep. of that." Yep, I knew it. I saw the whole thing playing. And out. you're right. If they'd ran the ball on that third down, they should just it, run the ball. They were third, third and three with a minute and a half to go. Yeah, right. That's too, and you're they in the red stopped, zone. They hadn't stopped them all day on the short. Exactly. On the short run. It's, you're in the it's red zone. Too cute. It's getting too exactly. cute. Exactly. That's that fucking Nick Sirianni bullshit. Hey, hold on a second. second. Is, is that is that bold. Callan Moore kicking the door down? Welcome. To the Callan Moore show. No, it's not Callan Moore that made that call to, to the, for the play party. call. It was, it was Sirianni's call to pass, and then and then Callan Moore called. Are you sure? Yes, and then Cal- yes, it was because I mentioned it on the broadcast too. Sirianni's call to would pass. How know that? Sirianni's call to pass, and then Callan Moore dialed up that play because it was the same play that they scored a touchdown on in the third quarter. That's right? what I'm saying. The play's money. The play's money. I've the point seen I'm this from Callan Moore before. The point he, I'm trying he, to make is he tries too the hard. fucking ball. Take another 40 seconds off. Third and three, yeah. take the 40 seconds off. It's fourth down and one. Even if you don't get it, you've run the fucking clock down. You're giving them the ball back inside their own 10 yards mm. with no timeouts with 40 seconds left. And if they drive the field at that point and score a touchdown to win, good on you. If he gets fucking two yards, if he gets one yard, you fucking tush push for the fucking rest. Thank you. This is You're what I'm saying. You're a fucking chance running the game out. That, I exactly fucking hate the tush push. Use it to your advantage. 
They, start they went three from three on the Tush Push, by the way. everything as fucking, like, first and nine. So, again, point. Jason Kelsey wasn't important to your team. Um, let's just say I agree with you, though. which I do. Um, Thank you. Uh, I, even if they'd taken the 40 seconds off the clock, the Falcons still would have won because they knifed, they scored with 40 seconds that, left. That they, was a that fucking drive, ridiculous drive. That, that was... It but, was and, like, and that's and that's on our defense. Yeah, Kirk because Cousins was no pressure. Kirk Cousins was basically like, "Hey, uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn it on now. Shut yeah. up." Yeah. Oh yeah, you say I can't win Monday Night Football games. Now it turns out I can. And has a celebration from him. Gets it just oh. cool, cool and calm off the field as soon as he goes off the field. Ah, boom! Throws his fucking helmet. I actually, I actually cheered for him. I, was like, really? oh, I actually do like good Kirk on Real good here, on uh, nerdy thing here. Last week, uh, Kirk Cousins with his feet, he stood parallel, mm. and he looked fucking real, sort of like uneasy. Still with his normal stance, he's done for the past fucking ten years. Yeah, look like a fucking quarterback. He's still, he's still not one hundred percent. Could can be see something it. in that. You could see, he's not one hundred percent. But again, <laughs> could be something in that. Like, You're an idiot, bro. As a, as a Philly, <laughs> as a Philly defense, like what are you guys doing? You're letting this Just guy drive the, the field and score in forty. And like, we're talking like massive chunk plays. Well, what the fuck are you guys doing? Where's the pressure? Where's the coverage? Well, what are you guys doing? Play more Cooper to Gene. That's what I'm looking for. The great, the, the great white world. hope. How, you got to play Cooper to Gene. Actually, they played him and then they oh. took they took him off because he was in a part of those two big plays in the last drive. <laughs> yeah, he was just, covering Mooney on one of them. He got torched. So th- think about what just happened. In a great minute, in a minute and a half, we, we passed the ball to stop the clock. him in the snow. Kicked the field goal. Mm. Gave him the ball back with no timeouts. They fucking drive the field and score. The whole thing was just fucking ridiculous. And as soon as he dropped that pass, one second later in the group chat, I'm like, this is going to fuck us. You watch. Nick, Siri. And then... They even got the penalty on Drake London and poor young Ho Koo, yeah. greatest name in football, Ooh. had to kick a 49-yard field goal extra, no, extra, no, point extra, point, extra point to win the game because they had a 15-yard penalty. Did you see that route from Drake London? Did the gun celebration. Yeah. Yeah. Drake see London's that route? Good. Drake he, he, good. He's a good player, man. He is a good player. Like, did that little in and out, that double move, and then out. It was good. And then oh, shot the AR. Slay looked fucking... He's done, open. I think. I think Slay's done. This is what I'm saying. Our, wrong our, eyes, wrong footwork. Our secondary, our secondary mm. is not set up to cover guys for five, six, seven seconds. We're not good enough. The whole point of our defense is we're supposed slow. to get pressure on the ball, which gives which gives the receivers less time, gives the quarterback less time. I can't wait to watch that back on video. Your face what? said they're looking slow. It was they real are. like they it was. Are. It was a real bed bug line. I agree. Real <laughs> smug over there. They, they they walked in. They thought they were going to be real smug, and Kirk Cousins went, "I'm smugger than you, Brock." I know you're taking the piss, but I agree with you. The whole defense looked completely fucking. Would you say it. Kirk Cousins was as smug as a bed bug? Uh, I wouldn't say that because I'm a grown man. But More you smug that. or less smug than a bed bug? In I'm your, in your professional that. opinion. But I'm, I'm not a professional, so I don't know. Fine. But what yeah. I do know for sure is that Philly had no business fucking losing that game and we somehow, we we snatched defeat from the fucking jaws of victory again. And then Jalen Hurts threw an awful interception when all he needed was a field goal. That was an awful throw. I don't know what he was doing there. He was trying, he, we, had, we had timeouts. He's trying to push the ball downfield into double coverage. Like... Everyone knows you're going to go for Smith. Is Jalen Hurts a running back too? Is he just a running back? Yeah, but he, how good did he look when he was running the ball? Yeah, that's though? the only time he looks good. No, he made a couple of nice throws. That that touchdown, that touchdown. Is Devonta Smith. Is a running Smith back. Was nice. Yeah, but the other one where Devonta Smith was wide open and he threw it five yards behind him and let Jesse Bates break it up. Is it? He's, he's he's inaccurate, Jalen Hurts. That's his he biggest. Is, I've always said that. Yeah, no, I'm not saying you haven't. I'm just saying that's he's yeah. he's very na- he's not as accurate as he needs to be. And I don't know at this point of his career if that's going to get better. So they need to play to his strengths, no, which, they is do need, which running is the running ball the fucking and ball, and then and then, then boot, moving the pocket and off play action and all that good stuff. Yeah. So what happens? Though, it was a it was a needed win for Atlanta. I don't think Atlanta could have fought or go to forward to fall yeah. two. So it was kind of one of those games where it was like, yeah, you're disappointed, but the result kind of I think helps the league this year. It keeps everyone That's around for, for for Atlanta and for Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Monday night on the road. That's it, a good win. Good on him. Yeah, especially after a disappointing loss in in week one to the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Good on him. I, like I said, when he threw that touchdown, I even though I'm a, as one-eyed Philly fan as he gets, I actually cheered for him. I said, "Fucking, you know what? Good on you, mate." And I got my Monday night bet with that touchdown too. Two, two passing touchdowns. Yep. Did Saquon Barkley score? No, yes, he didn't. yes, he did. I did. A yes, run, he did. Rushing touchdown. Uh, yes, he did. No, he no, didn't. that was a two no, point. He didn't, get a, two he didn't point. get a rushing he, touchdown. He, he scored a, a pass. It was a pass. A pass oh. out of the backfield. A little like little, oh, that little might, raptor. That might that pays out. Little Fuck. raptor. Little raptor. Yeah, it was like a little old raptor. School, old school ranger. I like that. All right, guys, that's it. Um, make sure support our friends at Sporting Globe. Tune in Sunday night, eight thirty live show um, on yeah. on Facebook. So we've never actually said what it's on. It's on Facebook. Um, tune into that and get around the Patreon. Sign up. Thank you to our sponsors. To the voucher. Sporting Thank you Globe. To Sporting Globe. Love you. Thank you to our listeners. We love you all. 
send more stuff in so we can read it out and laugh. Yeah. I like laughing. Oh, so do I. Yeah. Brock, do you like laughing? It's better than crying. Sure. You got anything else to add, Brock, before we get out of here? No, nah, let's wrap it up, boys. All right. It's a long show. Love Peace you out, homies. Week.